Hello everybody, welcome back to Hoover Dam. You know what that means. You pretty overwhelmingly voted for the NCR ending to come next, which considering I started with Caesar's ending, I guess that makes sense. Um, we are going to now start For the Republic Part 2. And I've got to go and see Colonel Moore at Hoover Dam. There you are. Colonel Moore. Good, you made it. I've been receiving reports about the savior of the NCR for a while now and wanted to meet you myself. I am that You're awesome. yourself especially capable. And right now, I can use all the capable people I can get. I would imagine Crocker so. Crocker gets handed the fluff missions that no one else wants to do. When people need something really important done, they come to me. Usually, I dispatch one or more rangers to see these things through, but I'm a little short-handed at the moment. Think you're up for a real mission? I was born for this. Yes, ma'am. Why am I calling her ma'am? I'm the savior of the NCR. Since the majority of my men are on assignment dealing with the Legion, I need someone to handle other matters that have arisen. Make no mistake, there's a battle coming, and I intend to make sure there are no loose ends when the time comes. One such loose end is a gang known as the Great Khans. Have you heard of them? Uh, you could say I've had dealings. Then I don't need to tell you that they can be a pain in the ass. Yeah, that sounds about the right. The NCR has a rather sordid history with them, and I'm concerned that we'll find them aiding our enemies when the Legion attack comes. Yeah, that's possible. That is, unless we get to them first. I want you to visit them in their canyons to the far west and make sure they're in no shape to join the Legion. They're just another gang of raiders as far as I'm concerned, so deal with them appropriately. Any questions? Um, uh, What if I can convince them to not to join the Legion? Don't fool yourself. I've dealt with enough of these gangs to know that they can't be trusted. Was there anything else? <sighs> no, not really. Good. I look forward to hearing of your progress. Dismissed. Okay, so let's go and deal with Oh My Papa. And now we're in Red Rock Canyons. Now, I could shoot everybody, murder all the Great Khans, and that'd be that, and that'd be fun. But this is a multi-stage quest which is uh, quite interesting to start with. First things first, let's go talk with Papa Khan. Not to be confused with Shaka Khan. All right, okay, Papa Khan, let's it's speak. It's always a pleasure to see you around the camp. I know, I'm just that awesome. Um, I've come to ask the Great Khans to break their alliance with Caesar's Legion. Have you now? Hmm, well, you're a bold one, I'll give you that. But why should I do this for you? Um... Because the NCR is the best. I'm playing the NCR route. The NCR is the best hope for long-term stability in the region, not the Caesar. Don't you dare mention the NCR under this roof. They are butchers without honor, killers of women and children. Yeah, they did do I that. I won't hear any more talk against Caesar or his alliance. The Great Khans will answer Caesar's call to war, and the NCR will pay for their crimes. Okay, bye. I, I'm going to go outside, and then um, uh, Regis Soon will come Caesar and speak to me. There you are, Regis. Why don't why don't why don't you speak to me? I heard you try there to convince go. Papa Khan not to join with Caesar's Legion. I'd like to talk to you about that for a moment. Considering Papa Khan looks quite young for his age, and you look like you're sixty, there's, there's a problem there. And uh, who are you? Name's Regis. I'm Papa's second in command. You might say I share your concern about Caesar. You want to convince Papa not to ally with Caesar, right? Right. Trust me, you'll get nowhere just talking to him about it. He's fixated on restoring the glory of the great cons, and he sees Caesar as the path to that restoration. So what do I do? Papa can be a stubborn man, but he's not a tyrant. He listens to his tribe, and to four voices in particular. Me, Jack, Diane, and Melissa. If you can convince all of us that allying with Caesar is a bad idea you might be able to sway him. Aren't you convinced already if we're having this conversation? I have my doubts about Caesar, yes. But I won't publicly go against Papa Khan based on nothing more than doubts. I've heard rumors that tribes who aligned with Caesar in the past were torn apart and reduced to slaves. Prove it, and I'll back you. Okay, what about Jack and Diane? You'd have to talk to them. But those two have been thick as thieves since they were kids. Convince one. And the other will come around. Yeah, and they love me. And Melissa? Ah, Melissa. She's a bit of a dreamer. Last time she was in camp, Carl filled her head with stories of serving the Legion as a speculatore. Personally, I've never seen a woman in Legionnaire's armor, so I have my doubts. Okay, I'll see what I can do to convince everyone. Good. Oh, one more thing. Caesar's representative, Carl, 
has become fast friends with Pava. Carl's the one who has him so fixated on this alliance. You'll probably have an easier time of things if you can find a way to get him out of the picture. Well, I'll keep that in mind, and oh my I would papa. Too, if I were you. Uh, wait, wait, hang on. You honor the great Khan. Um, so tell me about Papa Khan. Papa is one of the best leaders the Khans have ever had. He's kept us together through all of our hardships ever since we left California. Bitter Springs changed him, though. He started to really hate the NCR after the massacre. And sometimes I worry that's poisoned his mind. What do you mean about Papa's hatred poisoning his mind? Nothing. Forget about it. I shouldn't be talking about this with an outsider. I mean, I've been to Bitter Springs. What's your opinion on the NCR? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So, if you were in charge of the tribe, you'd fight the NCR against Caesar if asked? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Uh, that's true. Goodbye! Until next time. Okay, now, first things first. I need to go and speak to Colonel Moore. Alright, so Colonel Moore. Yes, did you have an update on the Khans? The Great Khan's second Khan sees a meaningful to a lying with the NCR. An alliance? That's an interesting proposition. Any plan where I can throw packs of raiders at the enemy instead of my own soldiers is a good one. I really don't like this woman. This woman is, um, I'm gonna say not good. Um, the current leader of the tribe is dead set against it. Maybe a diplomatic solution would work. We don't have time for diplomacy. This battle is coming any time now. If the leader won't be budged, he'll have to be replaced. I want you to go back to Red Rock Canyon and assassinate this Papa Khan. You'll have to be stealthy. If they see you do it, they'll kill you. Okay, we're gonna go with, okay, I'll do it. What's the plan? Here, take this lock picking gear. Your best bet is to wait until late at night, find a back door or catch him by surprise when he's alone. Good luck, soldier. Dismiss. And of course, I would need to ask the second way. I've got to come back here again, so I'm gonna... Oh, I should have dropped a save before I started that conversation. Oh well, lesson learned. Okay, this is a little bit of a problem. Normally I would kill uh, Papa Khan whilst he's on the, on the toilet. But apparently that's not going to work. So I'm just going to wait outside here for a little while. And then just sort of break in to um, the, the thing. Because Oscar is not normally there. Uh, I think if I pick this lock, I get straight into Papa's bedroom. There we go. Oh, Papa Khan has just gone to bed, so let's get my silenced rifle, and that's a sneak cat critical, but I don't, oh, hang on, hang on, thank you, Papa. I would like your hat and your key, thank you. Woo. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's not get out of here that way. Let's go back the way I came. All right, Regis. Hello. Something else you wanted? Now that you're in command, will you lead the Khans against Caesar and fight for the NCR? Without Papa Khan's guidance, I don't know what else to do. All right. You can tell the NCR the Great Khans will fight for them when Caesar attacks. Yeah, toodles. Until next time. Okay, so we could do it that way, or we could go and speak to uh, Cassandra Moore again. All right, this time I'm not interested in a career in political killings. Then why are you wasting my time? Dismissed. Oh, I thought I had to speak to you first. Okay, that's... Uh, I'm going to talk to Papa Khan about the Alliance, because... Apparently that quest objective wasn't available until she dismissed me. Alright, first things first. Let's uh, look at Carl's. Carl's journal. Oh, let's take his money elsewhere. Okay, so let's have a look at Carl's journal. This journal consists of detailed records and observations from Carl's time with the Great Khans. Many of the entries go into great detail about his opinion of their savage, barbarous customs. And at several points, 
he waxes philosophic about how it's very likely that Caesar's legion will have to execute the lot of them. So, Carl. Carl, Carl, Carl. Hello. You're the one making a name for yourself among the troops, aren't you? What is it you need? I've been wondering why you don't petition the Khans for membership as a show of allegiance. Join? Oh, no, I, I simply couldn't. That is, I'm not worthy of such an honor. But surely a warrior in the service of glorious Caesar is the equal of any tribe's finest. Of course I am. That is to say, Caesar has many fine warriors, and I wouldn't wish to compare them to the great Khans. Is it because you know they'd come up lacking? Enough! How dare you compare Caesar's finest to this tribe of savages? The mightiest great Khan is scarcely a match for a legion recruit. The burned man would leave their mightiest shitting themselves in terror. I would. That is... Interesting opinions, Carl. I wonder what Papa Khan will say about this. You motherless bastard. You'll pay for this. Great Khans. Drive Caesar. Hey! It sucks to be you. Ow! Oh, shoot at me sucks to be you, Carl. Okay, um... So, Papa Khan. Ah, oh, you're back. Oh, you, you don't have anything to say about that. Okay, um... That's fine. I mean, I'll... I'll hang on. I'll go out the... I'll, I'll go out the right way. <laughs> Twice I've done that now. Okay, it's time to go and speak to Melissa and that lot. Alright, let's start with Diane. Hey, seems like you've been making a lot of friends around here. So, about the Alliance of Caesar's Legion. Anders got back a little while before you did. He told me what happened. If that's how the Legion treats my people, I don't want any part of them. Uh, okay. Don't worry, Jack and I have talked it over. We'll talk up the idea of breaking the Alliance. Okay, excellent, bye! That's what happens when you've done like lots of quests for the Khans beforehand. Okay, now I think Melissa? Hey, Melissa. How's it going? Uh, Regis says I should talk with you about speaking against the Great Khan's alliance with Caesar. You can ask, but why would I do that? Carl told me all about the life in the Legion. He says I've got all the makings of a speculatory. Did he also tell you women aren't permitted to serve in the Legion? What? No, he... What do you mean, aren't allowed to serve? Why would he lie about that? If the Great Khan's join the Legion, you'll be sold as a slave. An officer's wife, if you're lucky. That lying little weasel. I almost fell for it, too. All right, you've got a deal. You can tell Papa I won't support an alliance. Time for me to go! And I think that's the last one. All right, let's go speak Hello. to Papa Khan, I guess. Uh, oh, you're still there, good. With Carl, just feast there, that's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Papa Khan, that wasn't, that was a... An accident. More of my advisors are starting to talk openly of breaking our alliance. I wonder where that idea is coming from. Uh, T no, that's that's right. Hang on, do I need to speak to Regis about this first? I think I probably Soon do. Regis! You're becoming quite the political agitator. I can't say I'm displeased. Okay, I'd like to talk more about the Great Khan's alliance with Caesar. What do you want to know? Uh, Papa can be a stubborn Jack man. Jack, I've got... I've convinced them all. I've got other questions for now. Bye. Okay, why can't I speak to Papa Khan about this? Number. Well, apparently I can't trigger this. Huh. All right. Uh, I've gone back in time because that's basically what I do. All right, so Papa Khan. Ah, oh, you're back. Um, you should look at this. It's Carl's journal and it's very re revealing of his true opinions. Let me see that. Filthy savages. Probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Great Khans, drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Hey! Come on. I love that he always goes for me after a while. Okay, let's... Go and speak to the others again. All right, Papa Khan, let's try this again. All four of my most trusted advisors have told me we should break our alliance. Maybe I should hear you out after all. 
I've come to ask the Great Khans to break their alliance with Caesar's Legion, which you already sort of have done because you've shot that guy. Hmm. I've heard some things from my most trusted Khans. It makes me wonder whether this alliance is a good idea after all. But I want to leave a legacy of greatness when I die. My tribe deserves better than this, cowering in a canyon and living on scraps. Tell me then, if I don't join with Caesar's Legion, where will I find my tribe's lost glory? Ooh, you don't need to look outward, mighty Khan. Your tribe is proud and strong. Claim your own glory. What great legacy do the Khans have? Your tribe is nothing but ghosts and martyrs. Claim your own glory. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. Oh no, as that's not what I meant you to do. Move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. I didn't mean to do that. Um, now you got that out of the way. I don't suppose you'd consider joining the NCR instead. You've helped me see Caesar for what he is, and I thank you for that. But if you suggest that again, I will have your head. Uh, all right, all right. Don't get touchy. Just stick around for a while. I might change your we'll mind. We'll remain until the camp is packed up. If you have some plan, see to it quickly. Damn it, Regis! Evening. Damn it! <laughs> all right, let's try speech option two. What great le legacy do the Khans have? Your tribe is nothing but ghosts and martyrs. I should have you torn apart for speaking like that. But maybe you're right. The glory of the past is an empty dream. If the Khans are to be immortal, we must make our own destiny. We won't fight for Caesar, but when he strikes, we will ride out one last time. Hmm. It's not quite what I had in mind. Oh, no, apparently this is the only way. You can only get an NCR alliance with Regis. So, all right, if you're, as long as you aren't fighting for Caesar, I don't care what it is you do. Whatever your motivation was, I think we owe you a debt. A apparently. Good news, guys! You're all going on a suicide mission! Yes. Did you have an update on... Not yet. I'm still and working on it, apparently, even though I've passed... Oh, my... Things are getting stranger every day. You're telling me! This is weird! Okay, so the way out of this seems to be... This one. But, you know what? If that's the case, at least I'd get a decent hat. All right, Regis. Something else you wanted? I wanted to do this a sensible sensible way. Uh, now you're in command. You lead the Khans? Without Papa Khan's guidance, I don't know what else to do. All right. You can tell the NCR the Great Khans will fight for them when Caesar attacks. Oh, thank God for that. Until next time. All right, bitch queen from yes. hell. Did you have an update on the Khans? Yes, they'll fight for the NCR. Excellent. You've done very well indeed. These tribals will make useful machete fodder. I don't like if it you. should turn out we need their land later, well, it's not like we don't have the force to drive them out again. In the meantime, bunch however, dicks, I have something else I want you to look dicks. into. We've had some disturbing reports recently concerning the Omertas, one of the three families that run the Strip. Our intelligence has discovered that high-ranking members of the Omertas have been having clandestine meetings for the past several months. We haven't been able to determine whom they've been meeting with, but if it's Caesar's men, we'll need to act. I need you to uncover what they're up to and stop it if it threatens the NCR. Any questions? Where should I start? Head to their casino, Gamora, and ask around. If you discover that what they're up to threatens the NCR, stop it. The Omertas themselves likely won't be forthcoming, so you may need to talk to some of their help to pick up a trail. Anything else? Any leads? Our preliminary research shows that the Omertas used to do some business in Freeside, mostly buying weapons. Any other questions? No, ma'am. Liza O'Malley at the embassy may have some information for you as well. Dismissed. So when I said any leads, that was a fucking thing in a fair. Beware the wrath of Kaiser. Medicine's back in our hands. I hope we Do can I automatically fail that one as well? Uh, beware the wrath of Kaiser if you're not aware of it. Um, Legion has spies everywhere. If you continue to work against its interests, you'll be marked as an enemy. So, yeah. All right, Johnny Holdout. Look, friend. Oh, I'm too well respected for your business. Oh. I don't have any guns. I don't have any holdout weapons. Huh. 
that's going to make things a little bit more difficult than I'd anticipated. Okay, well, we're going into Gamora anyway. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed. Yeah, yeah. Hand out. Oh, I'll You'll keep. Get... Do I actually have any weapons now? Plastic explosive, frag grenades. I've got grenades, at least. Anyway, you, lady. Hello. Hello, and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? Um, I'm calling for an outstanding ballast for some information. Tell me what the Omertas are up to. I knew someone would call in that mark soon. What do you want to know? Uh, tell me what the family's up to. Sorry, they don't tell me their plans, and I don't want to know. I'm just happy they don't make me fuck anybody anymore. Okay, um, uh, what's going on in Gamora? All I can tell you is to find Kachino. He's the lowest level lieutenant you're going to be able to talk to. Some of the girls say he's been involved in some shady business the family wouldn't really like. Ask him about it. Okay, Bye. and Kachino will immediately start coming over to talk to me from somewhere. Hi, Kachino. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the fuck do you want? I hear you've been doing some business on the side. Business? What the fuck do you mean, business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean fucking crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. I hear you've been dealing with some business that is off limits for the family. I don't give half a dick what you heard. Now get the fuck out of my face before I burn your sorry ass. Hmm. Perhaps someone else in Gamora knows how to find him. Uh, check Kachino's room or his person for some proof of his behaviour. Perhaps someone has the key to his rooms. Like Kachino? Hidden. Hang on. Before I do that. Before I do that. <laughs> Quick save. Right. His journal. There we go. Let's see what Kachino's journal has to say about him. Cuccino's journal documents a couple of months of Cuccino's activities. It contains a detailed ledger describing many of his business deals over the last few months, including the sales of chems and weapons. It's clear at a quick glance that these transactions are his own personal finances, and this is done behind the backs of the Omerta family stru management structure. He also talks in great detail about many sexual encounters with Gamora prostitutes, including Joanna. After nearly e every off-the-book sale or sexual tryst, he vows this one will be his last. Say, Kachino. You again? What the fuck do you want? I want to know why your eyes are glowing red, mate. You're not cat. Found this ledger that proves some of your side business. Where the fuck did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. I know. That book can get me killed. I know. I see it. Let's talk. What do you want? What can I do for you? Uh. I can s Ooh. consider giving this to you for some cash up front. Okay, you got me by the balls. Here's a couple hundred caps. Maybe that'll buy you friendship. Okay. Do you think the latter family would I like to see it? I can't stop you, but that's going to mean my death. I can make it with you a while to give it to me, though. Plus, if you go to the bosses, I can't help you stop what they've been doing. Oh. Okay. Okay. Worth 100 caps? I can pay you for it, of course. I also have some information about the family's business that you might find interesting. More interesting. Between you and I, we can break up what they're planning. Maybe save some lives. Mine included, of Considering course. you're glowing like the devil, okay, is, is worrying. Okay, 100 caps and you help me break up whatever the bosses have planned. Oh, here's some caps. Now give me the journal. All right, there we go. So let me tell you what I know about the family's business. The bosses, Business. Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. So what kind of specialist is Clandon? I got no fucking idea. They let him have the run of the place, though. He seems like a nice guy, but he makes me nervous. He's a little arrogant, but he's too nice. Too open. I've never seen him fucking a gambling. Everyone has a vice, but this guy seems like the Pope. A uh, couple more questions, and Troik? He's a skittish little fucker. Spends half the day pumping his body full of chems and the other half pumping hookers with his willy. He has some kind of connections, so he's able to smuggle huge shipments of weapons into the Strip. 
The boss has got him by the short hairs. We covered up a hooker he killed while flying on some psycho, so he gets us guns in exchange for not ratting. Okay. Okay. You can find me here or upstairs in my room. I'll let the muscle know you're a friend of mine. That should let you get around a little easier. Okay. Did you know the strips all stirred up lately? I did. I did most of the stirring, actually. Right. Let's think about what I want to do first. Let's deal with Clandon first. He's the more sinister of the two. All right, so this is a uh, Clandon suite, but if you look over here, it's all nice and fine, except there's uh, some blood. And if you go through this door, there's more blood and there's blood on the kitchen counter and all the way around and like signs of a scuffle, I'd say. I don't actually... No, I don't think there's anything dodgy in, in these bits. Um, but down here, the restrooms, this is more blood. It's a lot of blood around here. This is this is directly from uh, Clandon's rooms. I am going to go upstairs and I am going to... He's probably in bed. Yeah, I'm going to pickpocket his key off him. And his room key and his Zoara club key. Don't know what that's for. And then I'm going to talk to him. Hi. Hey, nice to meet you. Do you need help with something? Uh, what is it you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And how'd you end up with one of the hotel suites? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. Uh, Kachino sent me Kachino. to talk to you. Yeah, I've heard the name. Not sure why he'd send you to me. Is he helping out with room service or something? Okay, so, uh, nothing particularly at the moment, but if we go down here, again, there's absolutely nothing. Although, why you've got curtains up in your room? That's weird. Well, yep, yeah, there's definitely more blood around here, and I think one of these rooms, I can, the one with the bloody handprint on it. Yep, there's a, there's a Gamora prostitute there. Lots and lots of uh, wonderful bloody handprints and a camera. Uh, well, let's inspect the body at least. Girl has appeared to have been tortured for several hours and then murdered. Judging by the rate of li liver mortis. Rigor mortis? I don't know. Uh, you guess the body has been here for 12 to 14 hours. The lack of hesitation wounds on the body as well as the old blood surrounding it implies that the murderer's experience has been murdered in this way previously well terrific well since we're here let's uh use the key on his safe and let's steal his money and take his snuff tapes hmm show Kachino these tapes from kind of safe or confront clandon with them um I Ooh. I'm gonna to speak to Kachino actually because whilst I could and let's just do a quick save here, speak to him. Good to see you again. Hope you're winning some money in here. Okay, I think the authorities would like to hear these tapes I found in your safe. I think I should kill you before you have a chance to show those tapes to anyone. What do I have to lose? Um you can't have the tapes, but I'll keep them to myself if you leave and never come back. Can't give you these tapes. They're evidence of a crime. I guess you've made your choice then. Time to die. Watch out! I've got you now. You like that? I'm gonna clip your sorry ass. And I didn't get touched at all. I mean, I've killed him now. But you know what? Let's go speak to Clandon. Not Clandon. Um, Cacino. Wish they wouldn't start two people in the same quest with the same letter name actually let's just uh Good we could also do it this Hope way you're some um authorities I... i'll give you the tapes you promised to leave and never come back all right give me the tapes and i'll leave i'm going a long way away from vegas but you better hope that you and i never see each other again did benny beg before you burned his sorry ass okay i could do it that way but i think i'm going to speak to kachino and then murder him again Hey, Kachino. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, uh, questions. Um, 
I found these tapes in Clander's rooms. Can you verify this is him? Yeah, this is Clandon. This guy's one sick motherfucker. The way I see it, you have a few options. Maybe you could use what's on these tapes to get him by himself. Or maybe you could use them to leverage him out of the casino. Hmm, have a... Uh, that's all I've got for okay. now. Okay, you can find me... Okay, so I could just lure him... I can now lure him into a quiet room, but I don't have any weapons. This is a problem. I find this very disconcerting because... Every so often you can hear a girl screaming in the background and it's obviously not kind of like an I'm a prostitute and trying to impress a client kind of scream. It's kind of a like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm going to die kind of scream. All right, let's just murder him this time. I guess time. you've made your choice then. Time to die. Girl or a guy. That's okay, yeah, I'm now. fine. Thanks, like guys. That. Right, that's cracking. I'm just going to take that gun. Now I've got a gun, which is better than not having a gun. Okay, I'm fine now. I hear All, right, up Kachino. In Freeside. All right, Kachino. All right, Kachino. Hey, what can I do for you? Uh, Clandon's dead. Oh, is that right? Was that your handiwork? Well, I can't say I'm sad to see him go. He gave me the fucking creeps. And the next step? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Why do they need to die? As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you they have contingencies. Contingencies? And how do we take care of the bosses? They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They task me to find out who's responsible. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun and we can take them out. I've got a gun. They're going to expect something from me. You can do it and surprise them. What? Yeah, you... All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. Let's go take care of the bosses, because apparently we Hurry can just ignore Drake now. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. I'm kind of ready, to be honest. I'm, I'll, I'll follow you. All right, here we are. Hey, what can I do for you? Need to get going. Bye. Hello? Take a seat. Let's have some words. Take a seat on the couch so we can get to talking. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna sit on the couch. So I assume you know why we called you here. Did one of your contractors get lost? Yeah, clan will be hard to replace, but not impossible. We'll find contractors just like them, without breaking a sweat. As a last request, will you tell me more about your plan? Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan no, was. No, I didn't. Yeah. As a last request, I guess we can give you that courtesy. So... Well, Nero didn't tell me about any of this when he convinced me to take you out. The fuck? I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing, two-timing motherfucker. I knew this day would come. Uh, Damn. Oh, okay, and and now and now it's time for me to uh, to gun. Oh, have I got all my stuff back? Eh. Over here. There we go. Idolized on the strip. Completed. How little we know. So Holy shit. You've been in Lucky 38? You meet the overbot? Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here. Don't you worry. I was planning on playing some games in the casino? Of course. After all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play. Have some fun. Okay, time for me Later. to go. Apparently that's all there was to it. I feel like I should be speaking to Troik still. The murder's plans have been foiled. That's fine. I know that there is a whole thing about, you know, destroying all sorts of crap. Hi, I'm on stage. Uh. Bye. <laughs> um, yeah, you can destroy them with white phosphorus. I think that's how you go if you, you deal with Troik. Um, but I chose to deal with the real psychopath here. 
Oh yeah, prostitution central, I'd forgotten about that. Hello, Colonel Moore. Have you discovered what the Omertas are up to? Uh, up to something big, but I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. But we have other problems. While investigating the Omertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence oh? suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Any questions? Um... Won't getting rid of Mr. House have huge repercussions for New Vegas? Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. And what evidence do you have? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. Yeah, that's my fault. Sorry he about that. He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate. Which is why I'm sending you. Any other questions? What could he be up to? To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. Any other questions? Not really. Good. Then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. Oh dear. <laughs> People haven't figured me out yet. Mm. Oh, they're gonna shoot me so hard. Anyway, on that note, I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Fallout New Vegas. We signed Class a treaty dismissed. with the Great Cons. Guess you can never have too many low-life chem dealers on your side. The NCR, not necessarily the good guys. They have much more detailed quests than the Caesar's Legion. But the NCR aren't the good guys either.